Hi, everyone. I'm Andy, and I'm so excited to share with you today what's new and what's next for our Google Cloud databases in this Gen AI era. Now, at Next23, we laid out a vision to infuse Gen AI into all of our databases to make it easy for you to build enterprise apps and also deliver the most impactful AI assistant for practitioners building, migrating, and modernizing their data-driven applications. We've made tremendous progress, so let me tell you what we've been up to. In February, we expanded our vector support beyond Postgres to also include MySQL, Redis, and Spanner. And today, we're excited to also announce vector support for Firestore. Today, we're announcing a new PG Vector compatible index, the Scan Index, which is based on Google's state-of-the-art approximate nearest neighbor search indexing and search algorithms. With AdoDB's new Scan Index, index build times will be up to eight times faster. It also uses three to four times less memory. Think about what you can do with all that extra memory. And we have measured up to four times faster query performance. Today, we're announcing AdoDB model endpoint management, which makes it ev even easier to call remote Vertex AI and third-party models, such as Anthropic, Hugging Face, and even OpenAI. We're introducing a technology preview of natural language support in AdoDB. Now, this new capability improves accuracy versus do-it-yourself SQL generation by building semantic knowledge about the data set in order to better translate questions. And because natural inputs, natural language inputs to applications are often imprecise, AlloyDB also introduces a mechanism to interactively clarify user intent. Today, we're also announcing a new security model in AlloyDB. Developers can now set up a new kind of database view. We call it the parameterized secure view to help defend against prompt injection attacks. With this, we now have both flexible, secure, and accurate natural language support in AlloyDB. Let's take a look and find a seat on one of these flights. OK. Are there any good seats, let's say, on flight 41? Now, by the way, this is totally something I would ask a human booking agent, but I think we can all recognize it's a terrible question. A good seat isn't a precise term, and even the best NL to SQL models can struggle to translate this. So instead of just arbitrarily generating the query, the app asks what I meant. This is what Andy referred to earlier as intent clarification. OK, I want a window seat in premium economy. And by the way, just to go back there, AlloyDB is actually helping with that intent clarification. It's using its knowledge of the data set to propose a follow-up question. And OK, we have some options. Let's book it. Recently, we open sourced LangChain integrations for all of our Google Cloud databases. With these integrations, developers can build increasingly sophisticated RAG applications. How do these integrations with databases really empower developers on their Gen AI journeys? There, there are so many different ways. So I think the obvious one is retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. And so having some sort of vector index, the, the, the like of which you just talked about, is crucial for, for building a lot of these applications that need more data than the language model was trained on. And this idea of connecting language models to data is, is core to LangChain from the start. And so those types of databases and those types of integrations are obviously one of the main parts. But I think it's also a little bit underappreciated how many other ways you need uh, databases to build these applications. So going out in a few different directions, the main UX for Gen AI applications is chat. 
and you need a way to store all that chat data and use it in future conversations, and then maybe also do analytics over it. So having really solid integrations with databases that support these chat messages is crucial, and I, we've got a bunch of those. Um, you can use databases as caches. So caching is really nice for LLM applications. It speeds up the, the, the speed um, and also keeps down the cost when working. And so basically, you can look for exact or similar questions and similar prompts and return answers, whether this be at runtime or in testing. We've found that during evaluation is a really good time to have that cache. Um, and then a third thing that I'd just highlight is the text to SQL, as shown earlier, is just a massive use case. And so having really good database integrations there enables a whole set of other applications. Today, we're excited to usher in a new era for database professionals with Gemini in databases. Gemini in databases delivers AI-powered assistance that simplifies all aspects of the database journey, helping teams focus on what matters most. Gemini in Databases helps developers, operators, and database administrators build applications faster using natural language. They can also manage, optimize, and govern an entire fleet of databases with a single pane of glass. And finally, accelerate migrations with AI-assisted code conversions. So let's look at each in more detail. Gemini brings SQL generation, summarization, and fix-it capabilities to Database Studio. Our sales team is trying to set up a dashboard to track inventory and have asked for my help. I can take what they've asked for directly into Database Studio and ask in plain English, list inventory where stock exceeds 50% of average daily sales. Now, Gemini is taking into account the schema in our electronics database and suggesting SQL to list all of our excess inventory. But now, with our database studio, I can easily filter and see at a glance all of my instances that aren't failover protected, which is the signal that I get when things aren't set up for high availability. I can click on the alert here in the dashboard, and down below, I get a very nice filtered list of all of my instances that aren't protected. Now, I can click on the issue bubble in my list, and I get a very clear description of what the problem is, quick links to edit my configuration, or go straight to the resource, and then how to fix it, and in this case, enable high availability. Last year, we launched the Cloud SQL Enterprise Plus Edition for MySQL and Postgres. And we've continued to innovate on Enterprise Plus since launch. Maintenance and instance scale up happen now within less than two seconds and typically one second. And we've added enhanced disaster recovery capabilities. Now to best support Redis workloads, we launched Memory Store for Redis Cluster. And today, we're excited to announce some new, much requested features. This includes AOF and RDB-based persistence, and new node shapes for maximum flexibility. Today, we're excited to announce Big Table Data Boost, a breakthrough technology. Data Boost delivers high-performance, workload-isolated, on-demand processing of transactional data. You can now execute analytical queries, ETL jobs, and train machine learning models directly on your transactional data. As the world's largest home improvement retailer, the Home Depot is a familiar name to many. Now, we use the entire portfolio of Google Cloud data products to power our operations and deliver the best possible experience for our customers. Spanner has become an essential tool here at the Home Depot Benefiting from Spanner's five nines of time, we have the ability to scale up or scale down to match the workload profiles that vary based on the time of the day, saving us money and ensuring we're always ready for the peak demand. Now, we use Bigtable across a number of different use cases, across recommendations, personalization, inventory aggregation, as well as in our catalog. Now, certain workloads require eventual consistency these systems handle massive spikes in activity, sometimes over 500,000 database operations per second. Now, this elasticity of Bigtable has been monumental. Thank you so much for joining today. Have a great next. Have a great next.